Now, I've constantly been getting these inquiries in my DM um, about Westwood Lakes by Landway and also Itunu by Veritasi. Um, people who have like 25, 30 million, they want to invest and are trying to assess and look at these different locations. Now, this video is done or recorded at June 2020. So in case, uh, 2022 rather. So in case you are watching this video in December or in November, some of the prices that I'm mentioning in this video might not be applicable then. So kindly watch the days before you look at, you confirm the prices. So uh, in this every episode of Mint Property Guy, we'll be looking at the Westwood Lakes at some good edo, Monastery Road specifically, and the Itunu, Itunu Residential at Ayeto Roskim in Bejuleki. Where should you invest? In case you are coming across a video like this for the first time, please miss the Property Guy Property Channel. And this way we discuss everything real estate. For those who want to invest, avid investors, new beginners, first time investors, we share tips, guides, and advice. Now, after watching this particular episode, this is like my second video on Itunu already. I've done a video already uh, previously on Itunu where I compared Itunu, Imen Estate Phase 3, um, Lagoon Front, and Isimi. So, you can also watch it, that particular video for you to learn more about Itunu and the projects around that Itunu. So, let's go into the topic Westwood Lake Songo Tedu versus Itunu Residential where should you invest now let us first analyze the two locations of this property because i try to analyze these locations most of you guys abroad don't really are not really familiar with these locations most of you just rely on google maps and what we really with us we tell you so um westwood lakes is located in some water which monastery road which is just like around like three four bus stops after aja so the popular landmarks around the Monastery Road is the popular Novarian Mall, which is the Aja Shop Right. We have the Emperor, Emperor Estate, Emperor Mall also around the Monastery Road. We have um, some very fantastic estate around that exists to Diamond Estate. We have the LSDPC Estate, Jubilee Estate, and so many other estates around, around the Monastery Road already. Most of these estates, people are already residing there already. People are already taking apartments there for rentals already also. So the Westwood Lakes by um, Landway falls under the buy and build land, basically buy and build land. Now, for it to know, it to know is um, located in Bejuleki, uh, which is Aito scheme specifically. Um, the Westwood Lakes is also in a government scheme. Now, the advantages of government scheme is that it's the government that saw this land, and most times the titles don't really have much issues like family or community properties. So the Ayatollah scheme is where we have Itunu City, uh, specifically at Ibejuleki, and the nice landmarks are the Alago City, which is like three, seven minutes drive after Itunu City, it's Itunu Residential. And then we have the Ekbe Bridge. We have, um, we have landmarks around there. We have the Lagoon Front Estate. We have so many other estates around the Lamija also. I think Revolution Plus is also launching another estate there, High Bridge Garden. Um, one estate is also there by Crown Allied. Is there to so many other dynamic city and so on, dynamic city and, and so many other estates around the houses. So, so um, I do scheme is just after 11 Ongbe. For some people that have invested in that location already, they are a bit familiar with, with the 11 Ongbe. So, let's look at the ROI market opportunities, market analysis of these two locations. Now, Westwood Lakes currently is still selling at 30 million for 500 square meter, all inclusive. And um, a 1,000 square meter is 60 million, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the fantastic thing about these two locations is that their price is all inclusive. So whatever the company are selling, you know, that wants to pay it, you get a, your allocation. Um, right now, Veritasi have done two allocations at Itunu, which is quite impressive. But one thing I want to be encouraging of real estate company, once you sell, allocate, don't wait till three months or two months out, just make life easier for real estate. You understand? Once you sell, people have paid the property, just give them their land. Let that one remove from your neck. So they have done two allocations at Itunu already, which is fantastic, very impressive. Um, Westwood Lakes, they have not done any, done any allocation there yet, but I don't think Landway, I've not gotten any review yet about anyone buying land from Landway and not getting allocated. So I think that, that I don't think that's, that's, that's a big challenge anyway. So um, for any of these estates, once you pay, you are already eligible for allocation. So right now, it's 26.5 June 2022. 
that price might not be the same when you are watching this video in November 2022 or December 2022 or 2023. So, um, it's, you know, it's 26 million right now for a 500 square meter, which puts a 1,000 square meter at basically around like 52 million. So, it's only slightly cheaper. Um, so, in terms of location, proximity, Songo Tedo wins. Hands down. I did a previous video about Songo Tedo versus Ogombo. So, Songo Tedo wins comfortably. Songo Tedo to Aja Bridge is just like um, traffic free, 15 minutes drive. To Ibama, let's say around about, it's just like 10 minutes drive. There are schools around, there are malls around, Sky Mall, the Novari Mall, the Blanco Supermarket. So, Songo Tedo like, meets up all the lost life lifestyle that you are looking for malls schools clubs businesses residential opportunities buy and rent out so what they do like is an existing market now that cannot be said for it to know right now if you build the house at it you know today today you can't rent it out today today <laughs> can't rent it out today today so basically the rental market for it to know should be looking like around like um 2024 let me just say 2024 for the rental market in that axis 2024 but for some good idea right now you can buy build and rent out like almost immediately as long as your price is not too high so because we have already residential development the housing development there where people are already staying they rent their place they are working on the island maybe working in chevron and the likes so and a lot of people are already moving to Songotedo. Even some people are working at Lake Face One, Victoria Island, they're staying at Songotedo because that's where they can still rent a two bed or for 1.2 1 million and a three bed for like 1.5. You can't try that in, in Lake Face One. One million in Lake Face One is a studio. Studio, not even one bed, studio. <laughs> Alright, so so what they do for rental markets right now is fantastic. For Proximity, which means which one is closer, some good means. For rental markets, rental income, some good means. You can rent out in some good immediately right now. It's a new 2024. Right now, um, then why is it not selling at that price? Basically, 26 million. The distance between some good do the monastery bus stop to I2, which is where we have it to know right now. Ah, Without traffic, you should be, should be spending like, like 45, 40 minutes. With traffic, that can get to an hour. So basically, there are like, let's say 45 minutes this distance between the two. And looking at the difference between the price, one is 26 million right now, the other one is 30 million right now. Although by July 1st, um, Westwood Lakes is also going to like 77,000 per square meter. I don't know how, many, how much that is for a, I think that's like 42 million or 40 something million for if I want to swim that. So, West Village is here pretty much right now. So, there's a 4 million difference between the two, but there's like a 45 or 40 minutes gap in the distance between the two. That's traffic free. Now, um, one thing that I love about it to know is the development. The development. Veritasi promised they are going to do infrastructures, and so far, so good they have done it. Now, does those developments make it worth it for you to invest? Absolutely, yes. Now, and I'm going to give you an example. MLS State right now, phase one, phase two at Eleko. A plot of land at MLS State phase two right now is 35, 36 million. MLS State phase two, Eleko. Eleko two is like almost six, five bus stops after some Gotedo. 36, 35 million. And people are still buying because people know the infrastructures that Imen Estate are going to deliver. I keep saying it. People no longer buy location. People buy neighborhoods. Some estates in monastery, the rent there is higher than Orchid, which is in Lekki. Orchid is like almost three bus stops before monastery. Now, Lando is selling a three-bed duplex at 70 million at Monastery Road. 70 million will buy you a semi-detached duplex at Orchid. 70 million. A four-bedroom semi-detached duplex at Orchid. You buy it with 70 million, which is like four bus stops before. So this has shown you that the Lagos real estate is no longer about proximity. It's no longer about which one is closer. It's no longer about which one is farther. It's now about what are the amenities there? What are the infrastructures there? What are the facilities there? What are the security like there? 
do I get a comfort or a comfortable life lifestyle that I'm looking for in that estate? If yes, people buy. Basically, so it's about the infrastructures. It's about the expectation. That's what determines what people invest in. Now, another advantage that it now has over the West Wood League is the proposed airport. I always say it in my video: the airport, the Lake International Airport at Epe, is proposed. I'm not the one that set it. It's Lagos State Government. They are only the one that can determine when they are ready to build it or they don't want to build it it's up to the government so you can determine if by 2030 is going to be active if by 2040 is going to be active if by 2025 is going to be active if by 2026 is going to be active you can't determine that but one thing is certain at any point when that airport is active any property in that location will sell faster and higher than some hotel let me repeat it at any point when even if it's 15 years they've been at airport it's 10 years they've been at airport it's five years they've been at airport it's seven years they've been at airport as long as they even once they commence work on that airport properties in that axis Elamisha, Ayeto, Lagoon Fund, um, even down to Ekbe, the prices will surge far higher than whatever that you can get in monastery or some hotel though. So, for some people that are investing or preferring to invest around the land major or to right now, basically they are tapping and positioning themselves for what is coming. While for people that are in some Sombotedo right now, they are tapping and positioning for, self, for themselves for what is already there. So, it's, it's just about buying the presence or buying the future. One thing about buying the future is that you can't imagine how boom it can go but the present you can see that okay right now 30 million you can go to 45 you can go to 40 but with a with that future that is around that i2 Ilamija, you can't you, you, you we all have no idea how much that in, 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 airport is going to transform or affect real estate in that location so in case you are wondering, wondering that ah uh, why did i just be going 45 minutes away from monastery to go and buy 26 million that's the reason it's because of what is coming to that location and what is likely to transform that location about like 1000 percent hour you get now so that's just like one of the differences both locations are almost the same if you are going to build in both locations you are definitely going to be, be doing a rafting now another thing because there is a proposed airport around itunu there is a max number of floors you can't go i think beyond four floors in itunu uh, i'm not sure there is that restriction in some hotel right now because the apartments that the landway is building is around like eight or seven floors so which means that at monastery road you can comfortably build a high rise but that is not applicable for Ilamija, Aeto, or any community that is very close within the proposed airport circle because of the heights by which planes are going to be departing or ascending. You understand now? So, if your projection is for high rises in the future, or you are looking at a property where developers might want to do a high rise in the future, then don't go to anything close to the airport or because you can't go beyond four floors or. <laughs> so that's another thing you, you should understand actually most locations in lagos there's always a town planning regulating the max number of floors that are applicable in each of these location yeah existing and they enforce it yes lagos state enforce, enforce it so that's another thing for you to understand about just that restriction but you can build block of flat in both locations you can build semi-detached duplexes you can build terraces in both locations as long as you want now for buy build sell monastery wins buy build rent out right now right, right now monastery wins both location are still existing market for short lets. but if that proposed airport should actually work out the short let market around the to no exist will beat the sunbote to exist hands down but that's if the proposed airport works out but if the proposed airport does not work out the some shortage market will beat the to no axis as down 
these analyses that you should understand these are analyses that you are not going to get anywhere else and that's why i'm here the property guy <laughs> all right so this those are just the short less projections that you should so it's really when, when you buy a property particularly when you want to invest in property it's not just about the drone do, shoot language is fantastic with that you know they have this very very beautiful way of dramatizing the projects you know they just show you one beautiful lake couples playing around the lake <laughs> if an investor you don't need that uh, you don't need that uh, <laughs> what you need is to look at assessments market analysis what works what doesn't work then so um, it's not just about a drone shoot, it's about looking at the projections about this location, what's selling in this location, what's selling there right now, what's likely going to sell there in three years' time, in four years' time, depending on how long you want to hold that property. So I feel so far so good I've been able to do some justice to Westwood Lakes in San Gotedo and then the Itunu Residential in um, Ayoto Wiskim. We have properties that we are selling right now. Um, I just try as much as possible on this my channel. No, you tell you that buy this one. Don't buy this one. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not yet to blackmail the property. I'm not yet to to tell you this. This one is this. This one is that. No, 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 no. My job is just to guide your investment, to hold your hand, to show you the baby steps on what you need to do, what you need to look out for when you want to decide on the property investment either you are buying from me or you're not buying from me it's not it's not really it's not really a criteria you can buy from anyone else but i'm going to share enough guides and enough advice for you to understand that okay these are the things i need to look out for me to make a decision so i see many of my party the plan there to party advice and party consultants happy mustafa thanks once again for watching our video and if if you have lens, don't worry. Give us a thumb like. Give us a thumb like. Give us a thumb like. We are, we are, we are not asking for money. <laughs> so just go give us a thumb like and kindly subscribe to our videos so that you don't miss any of our educative guides. Thanks. See you later.